Well, today I'll share with you how this router upgraded my overall Wi Fi network setup. This video is sponsored by cdkeyoffers.com where you could buy legit software, games, and license keys. Just go ahead and search for the games or software you're looking for, hit the buy now button, and simply enter the coupon code DUDE20 to save up up to 20% from your purchase. After paying, you will now immediately receive the key on your account and be able to activate your software or license key. Going back, so I'm talking about this router of Mercuses. This is the Mercuses AX3000. MR80X Dual Band Wi-Fi 6 Router. By the way, special thanks to TP-Link Philippines for sending us this router. So this is what you'll be getting straight out of the box of the Mercusis 3000 or AX3000 MR80X. First, you'll get, of course, the router. Next, it also comes with a short QTP cable. And lastly, of course, the power adapter. So most likely if you don't know it yet, most of your network or your home routers right now only supports the older Wi-Fi 5 standard. While delving deeper to the specifications of the Mercusis AX 3000 MR ATX, this router already supports the next generation Wi-Fi which is the Wi-Fi 6 standard. It also supports beamforming using its high gain antennas. This router has a total of 4 parts on it, one of which is dedicated for the one and three of which is dedicated for the LAN. It also supports other features such as QoS or quality of service, IPTV support, and parental controls. Although exploring the QoS as well as the parental controls features of the MR80X, I found out that it only supports the basic configurations or it doesn't basically offer a more complex configuration compared to higher-end routers. For end users, the most important consideration are usually not the features but actually the speed that we can actually get from the router. So here are the speed tests that I conducted with regards to the MR80X router. So I've conducted three particular tests for this router. One of which is first this one meter test away from the router wherein there's not much of any obstacles or walls blocking the site for the router. So this would supposedly be the most optimal condition for the router. Hence, as you can see on the speed test, I'm getting the most optimal speed out of my 500 Mbps internet connection. Moving on to the next speed test wherein I'm 5 meters away from the router and there's only one wall separating me from the router so basically there's a little bit of obstacle although this is not yet an enclosed space such as a particular room so this would basically still be considered an open area except that one wall will be blocking the line of sight from the router. So again, despite having one obstacle, we are getting sufficient performance and speed out of the router. So this is the third test which is 10 meters away from the router and this was performed on an enclosed room. So there's 2 to 3 walls obstacles that blocks our Wi-Fi coverage on this particular setup. So despite being that far away from the router, we are still able to get a little bit of around 26 Mbps of speed. So for my overall thoughts, this Mercusis AX3000 MR ATX Wi-Fi 6 router is a router that you could consider if you are planning to upgrade your existing routers to support already the next generation Wi-Fi and, and to also benefit from the upgrades that comes along with it such as a faster throughput as well as the overall speed experience. The Wi-Fi 6 of this router does really maximizes the capabilities of your Wi-Fi network setup. The quality of service or QoS as well as the parental controls function of this router is a little bit too basic for me. However, this might already be more than enough for basic end users but again, for a more complex configurations of quality of service or QoS, this router might not be up for it. So thanks for watching, hopefully I managed to share with you my thoughts and opinion with regards to my experience with the recent upgrade that I did on my network using the Mercusis AX3000 MR ATX. And if you like this video, hit that like and subscribe button down below to get more tech stuff in the future. Again, it's your tech edit here. See you in my next tech videos.